Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you a way of researching the land and also finding areas to locate and to target for metal detecting. So we're going to try, let's load up the internet. Okay, so we've got at the top, look, gridreferencefinder.com. And then we've also got the Haze Policies Oyo. I'll put the link in the description, which is a LiDAR. Uh, and if you just, if you've just got LiDAR only, if you've just got the LiDAR and you try and find out areas that you want to target, let's just zoom in there, you don't know where you are, you could be absolutely anywhere in the country. So, if you use LiDAR and grid reference together, that really helps you target areas. So we start off then. Go to the grid reference. Uh, let me think of a place. Let's put Stonehenge. Right, and so we know that is a major settlement, a religious area, and we know a lot's going on there, and there's a lot of burial mounds in the area. So if we want to locate them burial mounds, so I'll just zoom out a bit. And then, okay, and so there, I'll push the right right button and it comes up with a grid reference number left click go across and then right click copy yeah so you highlight the number copy it then open up your lidar click on the little magnifying glass there the search icon left click into the search bar then right click and paste and then click enter that takes you straight to that area look if it's blue that means that the lidar hasn't caught that uh, part of the land um i can zoom out again so we know now that that area there is exactly where i took the grid reference from here there it is look so that grid reference that i took there has brought us there And it, it helps you identify a lot. You can't really see that on the map. Let's look on the map. So you can't see that road clearly. That's like a trackway. So if you just look at the normal map. You can't really see what's going on there. Even if I zoom in. It just looks like two separate fields. Then you go to the LiDAR. You can clearly see there's a trackway there. So if you wanted to, obviously you can't do it on this land, it's wholly scheduled. But you could follow the, the road going across and think, well, where's that taking me? It looks like there's a possible building there of some sort or something's happened. Burial mounds now, look. And look, you can find the burial mounds. There's a burial mound there. There's another road coming down. Look at all these burial mounds. It's amazing, isn't it? I'd love to be able to uh, detect around Stonehenge. Oh, that big road coming across there, look. Uh, so let's, let's try another one. So you can just click the LiDAR again if you want to go back to the start. It takes you back to the start. Go onto the grid reference if you want to start again. Just click on the icon that you've saved into. You can save them as bookmarks. Oh, you click on the star there, look. So you... You put put this link in, click on the star, and it will save it up to the top here for your bookmarks. And do the same with your LiDAR. Put the link in, load it up, and then click the star, save it to your bookmarks. Makes life easier. Right, and where else is there? There's absolutely anywhere. Shall we? Let's go look down London Way. I oh, know there's some. So if you've just got permission... <coughs> I would just go here. Let's just go here and say. So, right, the nearest farm we can sort of see. And we say we've just got. Let's just look for some half decent fields. Here, look. So, we've just got this area. And you want to know what's going on in that area. So, we click on the. Click round. Say, if we've got one look in that field, I'll right click. Copy the grid reference number. 
go on to LiDAR, into the search icon, left click, right click, paste, and then click enter. <laughs> that one is not on there. So we know that's not on the map there where we was. So we've come across a little bit now. We've got that the white Y there. So if we go to the map again and look for that white Y, which must be there. That's the white there. Yeah, I look at the round circle there. What's that? Could be something. You never know. Uh, let's have a look at all the grain. You're looking for impressions in the soil that you wouldn't normally see on maps. Yeah, well, that's two cir three circles there. That might be nothing. But you get the gist. If you've just got a new farm, you want to scope it out and you want to have another element of looking at what could have been on the land, give you ideas of past history. And this is a brilliant way of doing it. You know, I've got original floor there. So if I want to do it the other way around, so I've just found something now on LiDAR and I want to try and find out where that is. So I left click, highlight it with the holding the left button down, right click on that, copy. So I've just copied the link. And I go to the grid reference. I go to there where it says grid reference, left click, right click, paste and then click go. That's took me straight to that location where the original floor is. So then I can zoom out and I can find out exactly where that is, look. So I'd know that's the white way there, it's in between, it's on that main road. You could look for the farmhouse, which could be there, or it could be here, and then just go and knock on the door and ask if you can have a little look on his original floor. Awesome bit of kit. Yeah, there's the old uh, stream or river there, look. Little crossing. That's what I use anyway. And it does help. It helps you get on the good stuff. So hopefully that's give you a bit of an insight in how to use it. Obviously people know about LiDAR and they know about a good reference. But by using the two together, it really does make life easier. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Happy hunting. Ta-da.